and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with a stock swoosh, and I'm reviewing here Apple. Apple is breaking out. Apple broke out today. It broke out above this area, and again, rallied over 200 and broke out above this 202.85 area. Actually closed, it looks like it went up to 203, beyond 203, 203.38. Closed very strong. So I'm just going to take a whole look at the chart of Apple. Called the day trade in this today, called an option trade in this this week. Bottom line is that this looks for the first time in a very, 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 very long time like a buy again. And I mean, just recently, because it really was basically nothing here. This was the last earnings on the on January 30th, and it would have been a 50-50 if you had bought it here to know that it would get to this point. Because I mean, look at the sell-off that this had. This had a bigger sell-off than really the market. And again, there's a lot going on with Apple surrounding China. So there was some good news out this week. This gapped up on news and rallied today, and it looks, it looks higher. I mean, this had a nice move today. You could have day traded it. You could have done the option trade. I called the 200 calls. It's $3 through the strike, and plus, this looks good. This even looks higher possibly tomorrow. Again, low volume with the holiday week, but this could rally next week too. So this is, this is just a nice call. And again, if you did as a day trade today, it was beautiful too, just because of the move. And talking about what I do, I'm looking for institutional money that's buying. I'm looking for institutional money that's selling or shorting. So in this case here of Apple, it was institutional buying that came in here today. And quite frankly, that has been lifting the stock, albeit slowly. A little bit too slow for me, but I felt like this was a good long here in the last week. Uh, felt the conviction and, and it all worked out. So waited for the confirmation just because of that steep sell-off. But this looks really nice here. So if you did it, if you're on the option letter, you made money in the Apple. If you're still in it, fine. If you did the day trade today, this was a big winner. So we'll see where this goes too. I mean, again, Apple is earnings. I got to check the date, but that's coming up as well. So it could be the turnaround here, really for Apple. Although I got to say it's a long way off the highs. Let me just look at this here. Still, still bullish chart. 233.47. Yeah, I mean, this is a long way off the highs. And I have to look up the date that Apple reports. I'm, I mean, we'll just see. We'll have to see. We'll have to really see. Again, it gapped up last report, but it just didn't have the move that I would have wanted to see it. But now it is. <laughs> so it's having some good follow through here. We'll see where we go again tomorrow and into next week. Good luck, everyone who's still in the Apple. And if you're on the options letter and you got out of the Apple today, I think that was a perfectly fine thing to do based on the fact that, again, it's a short week. Have a great night, everyone.